Concerns about hair loss have plagued men for years. So when in 1997, Propecia, the anti-baldness drug, was approved by the FDA, it seemed like the ultimate miracle solution. The drug either inhibits hair loss or encourages hair regrowth. With these kind of results, many men were not deterred by the persistent sexual side effects that some were experiencing. But a recent study suggests that those sexual side effects may actually continue months, years, or even permanently after a patient has stopped taking Propecia. To get to the bottom of this, we spoke with Dr. Darius Paduk at the Wild Cornell Medical College Urology Department. Baruch here with Waywire, joined today by Dr. Darius Paduk. So Dr. Paduk, how real is the threat of chronic or sometimes even permanent side effects coming out of users who are using Propecia right now? Well, for men who do experience sexual side effects from after taking Propecia, it's a very real issue. I'm not saying that every man who takes Propecia has sexual dysfunction, but once they occur, they actually last very long, they are very difficult to treat, and there is no specific reversal. So for those men who are taking the medication, if they start to experience side effects, how should they know when to stop taking? They should stop right away. It is a uniquely stubborn drug, and, and the most frustrating aspect of this is that we are very good at helping them right now, and, and we are getting better, but there is nothing, no specific reversal. For those men, it's important to to show them that we have many other patients who we help, but it takes years to actually go back to normal. And I think that some men will probably never go back to a normal uh, erectile and sexual function. Never go back? I don't think that in some men it's possible because some of the men I've seen five years and they stopped taking medication many years ago, they still continue to have side effects. So this really could be a permanent side effect? It, it could be in the very selected group of men, could be, I, I, I believe based on my experience, could be very, very long, long lasting, almost permanent um, uh, defect. So bottom line, a young man who's experiencing initial hair loss, should he take Propecia? I would not recommend to my son, but um, it's a decision which every physician and every patient needs to make on their own. And I think our conversation should increase the awareness that in certain population of men taking Propecia, they can develop sexual side effects, which will very often be long lasting. And for those men who may not want to take Propecia, what sort of alternatives exist? I use Rogaine, for example, and I think that that's relatively, there's no literature so far saying that Rogaine can affect sexual dysfunction. Dr. Paduth, thank you very much. Welcome. And we of course want to hear what you think about this issue, so be sure to wire us at Waywire.